Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're reviewing One Shot on Sky Cinema, directed by James Nunn and starring Scott Adkins, Terence Maynard and Ashley Green. One Shot is a pretty run-of-the-mill military action B-movie. In this scenario, a high-profile terrorist is being held for questioning until his terrorist mates basically turn up and try to break him out of the military base. Before we go any further though, could you be a deer? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me and the channel massively and we thank you if you do. I'll be honest, I wasn't looking forward to watching this one and I think you can probably see why. The title, generic as fuck. The cast, generic as fuck. The plot line, you guessed it. But I have to admit that this started really nicely. It's quite cinematic. There's some really good sound design in the opening scene of being in the helicopter. It's naturally uneasy. There is a tension in the air and they create it nicely. And I felt that they created that tension consistently through the film very well. As far as I could tell, all of the shots were handheld. But that being the case, it really wasn't that shaky. There was obviously a little bit of a shake to it and I actually think it aided the film nicely. It kind of made me feel like I was in the moment with the soldiers, like I was running alongside with them. The camera also operates in some really tight spaces. It operates in hallways and corridors, alleyways, helicopters. This is some fantastic camera work, it must be said. I also thought the pacing was really solid. This is an hour and 40 minutes long and Within the first 15 minutes, we've got our plot set up and bullets are flying. It just sort of does what it says on the tin. Here's your plot, off we go. I appreciate that they very clearly had no budget for this movie, but with a bit of hard work, love and determination, they've really managed to elevate this material into something quite cinematic. I can't be mad at that. I was pretty much constantly invested throughout the action of this movie. It's really well done. I was hugely surprised at how well crafted this film was. I was expecting disaster. I went in fearful and ended up quite pleasantly surprised. However, coming to some of the negatives, the acting is so-so. There are very clearly some actors that are a lot better than others. But nobody was unwatchably bad. No one really stunk the place out. But that being said, no one really stood out either, mostly because the characters aren't that deep. There really isn't any depth to them. There's several characters in the film that I actually couldn't even tell you what their names were. You don't really know anything about them or their families or their goals. They don't really have any character arcs. They're just soldiers. And you can say that about all the characters. The soldiers are just the soldiers. The military suits are just the stereotypical military suits. Terrorists are your very basic terrorists. It's very weak in that department. And they don't help the actors by giving them interesting dialogue. There really isn't anything that biting to listen to here. It's actually quite ear grating at times. A lot of it boils down to people just shouting emotionally over each other. It's hard to follow at times and it falls very flat. And because you're not that interested in these characters, you don't really care when people potentially die. Bodies hit the floor in this movie and I applaud them for it. It does sort of give you an air of, oh, I thought that person was gonna be fine and they're not, so all bets are off. But as much as I thought that person was gonna be fine, I didn't care either way because I didn't know them that well. I didn't know their name. I just thought that because they'd taken up 30 minutes of the movie, they're probably gonna be here till the end. If they could have fine tuned that, this could have been a lot better. This is probably one of the best video game movies that isn't based on a video game. That's kind of how it played out and it does it really well. I'm gonna give one shot a six out of 10. Despite being in the exact same vein as SAS Red Notice and without remorse, sorry, had to look it up, it was that boring. Despite being in the exact same vein as those two movies from last year, this is so much better. It might not blow your socks off and it is relatively cheap and throwaway, but at the same time, you can't help but notice they are genuinely putting in an effort to entertain you through this film. And personally, I was taken along for the ride. Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And please be sure to hit the comment section as well. Have you seen One Shot? What did you think about the movie? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.